Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So students today we are going to solve past papers or questions which were asked in UPSC okay. So these were asked in um, if I remember correctly yes it was asked in CSAT 2019 CSAT 2019 okay. So very quickly let's start with the first one. <coughs> the question over here is one second. Yeah. The num a number consists of three digits of which the middle one is zero and their sum is four. Okay. If the f number formed by interchanging the first and last digit is greater than the number itself by 198. Okay. <coughs> I'm sorry. Then the difference between first and last digit will be what? Okay. So the question over here is that we know that there's a digit, let's say that's let x 0 y because the middle digit is 0 okay and we know that the sum is what 4 so x plus y is 4 and then they are saying that there is a different the, no, the number is interchanged so unit digit becomes the hundreds place so euro z y 0 x okay and they are saying that the difference between the two is 198 so here please understand x is on the 100th place so 100x plus we are not considering the 0 and y is on the units place so we will write y minus how much is this one this is on like 100th place so we will have 100y plus x y x because it is just on the units place the difference between the two is 198 okay so now if you open this we have 100x plus y minus 100y minus x is equals to 198. So we have 100 minus x which is 99x plus y minus 100y will get you minus 99y is equals to 198. So, so now I can take 100, 99 common so I have x minus y is equals to 198 divided by 99. So both of them can go in 11's table. So we have um, 9's and 18's, 1's and 2's. So now I can say that therefore x plus y is equals to 4. And we have x minus y is equals to 2. When you cancel these out, so you get 2x or when you add these two, you get 2x is equals to 6. So x is equals to 3. Correct? And if x is equals to 3, then y will be what? If this is 3 plus 1 will get you 4, right? So y is equals to 1. Correct? Then what they are saying is that then the difference, please understand, then the difference between the first and the last digit. So first digit is 3 and difference between them, 3 minus 1 will get you 2. The answer is 2. Students, if you like the way I am explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Okay? So now let's start with the next question. Students don't forget at the end of this video, I'm going to put up a DIY and whose answer you will let me know in the comment section. Okay. So here we have an eight digit number, which is what? 4252746B. This number when divided by three gives you a remainder of zero. Means this number is completely divisible by three. So what we'll do is we'll check for the divisibility test of 3. So 4 plus 2 plus 5 plus 2 plus 7 plus 4 plus 6 plus B. What is the answer? 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 plus 2 is uh, 13. 13 plus 7 is 20. 20 plus uh, 4 is 24 plus 6 is 30. So we have 30 plus B. So please understand 30 itself is completely divisible by 3. So what else you can add over here? You can add, uh, let's say if I add 1, so we get 31. 31 is not divisible. So if we add 2, then again it is not divisible. 33 is divisible. So we can have 3, we can have 6 and we can have 9, right? So basically we can have all the numbers of 3 stable added over here to make sure that the number is divisible. But, 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 very important we forgot that we can even add 0. Because see, 30 plus 0 gets you 30 and 30 itself is divisible by 3. Correct? So we can have how many different values of B? 4. Not 3. Lot of students made a mistake over here. Please understand you have to consider 0 as well. Okay? Now, <clears throat> this is an interesting question. 
the question is number 136 is added to 5b7 so 136 when you add to 5b7 the number obtained is 7a3 now look over here we have 6 plus 7 which is 13 and you added word one over here so 3 plus 1 is 4 so 4 plus b gets you an a okay now very quickly understand here you have 1 plus 6 sorry 1 plus 5 which is 6 but the answer over here is 7 so here this number will be in two digit form okay and that 1 will get carried over here okay so basically these numbers will be in tens and that 1 will get carried over here to get you a 7 this is something which you need to remember otherwise you will not be able to solve this particular question okay so now all you need to do is you just put the values of b over here so now please understand if you put 2 the answer is what a single digit 3 sorry 4 plus 2 which get you 6 i want a two digit answer so i can't have 5 as well i can have 7 so 4 plus 7 gets you 11 and 1 over here okay but the th problem over here is that if i add 1 so basically 7 1 3 value of a becomes 1 okay because see please understand 4 plus 7 gets you 11 the 1 gets carried so a is just left with 1 and when you see this we have 8 plus 7 plus 1 which is 8 plus 3 which is coming out to be 11 this is not divisible by 3 so we'll add check for 8 so 4 plus 8 gets you 12 so the answer now changes to 7 23 and this is completely divisible by 3 because 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 3 is 12 and 12 is divisible by 3 so answer is option D okay Please understand students, a lot of these questions can be directly solved by using the options. But generally I show you the trick because I don't want you to be like completely dependent on the options. Because what if it is the one of the option was none of these. Then we are stuck, right? Then it will be very difficult to find your answers. That is why I try to show you all the trick or show you all the basic understanding how to solve these questions. Okay. Now time for your DIY. Uh, I'm going to use a similar kind of an approach. Uh, let's say I give you a number which is uh, 368154 and let's say this is Z and this leaves a remainder 0 when divided by three so okay let me add one more one over here so yeah and let me know so what all the possible values how many possible values you can find for z okay so that's it for now i will see you in the next video